Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Machines. Today let's start with the comparison of new generation Duke 390 and 250 and let's find out what are the changes both the motorcycle gets. So first thing, let's start with the headlight unit. Both the motorcycle gets a new generation uh, LED headlight setup which resembles Super Duke. Here the Duke 390 gets LED external LED DRLs which enhances its look as a bigger variant and muscular compared to the 250 where 250 gets headlight setup but does not get any DRLs uh, strip or anything where headlight acts as a DRLs at the daytime. So these are the first changes which can be uh, distinguished from far away or just looking at the motorcycles. Second thing is coming to the dash. The Duke 390 gets an uh, all new 5 inch color TFT display uh, with multimedia connectivity and turn by turn navigation. While Duke 250 does not get any TFT display, it gets a new LCD, it gets a new 5 inch LCD display with also basic uh, multimedia options. And uh, coming to the seat height, the Duke 390 gets a 820mm seat height and it can be reduced to 800mm by removing the standard power parts of uh, power parts spacer from KTM factory itself. While Duke 250 needs to be added that power part to get a higher seat height. So this can be another option to distinguish from. So another major difference we can uh, distinguish is from styling. The Duke 390 gets thicker side fairing or side panels with a smaller air intake while Duke 250 does not get any air intake and it has a slightly smaller side uh, panel and uh, also the Duke 390 gets a uh, radiator cover which is uh, wider but Duke 250 does not get any radiator cover here the Duke 390 gets smaller uh, front fender while the Duke 250 gets a full covered uh, center fender uh, which looks good which is look practical also Going to another changes is the Duke 390 gets a catalytic converter on the lower side while the Duke 50 gets a little higher and looks practical on Duke 250 compared to the 390 if higher speed bumps you travel on. So this can be a major differentiation also. On the suspension side, Duke 390 gets adjustable suspension at the front while Duke 250 does not get that and it pisses it off. On the rear section, Duke 390 gets sleek tail tidy with number plate and indicator while the Duke 250 gets the same speed, uh, sleek uh, tail tidy but it gets a little uh, plastic panels to stop a mud splash in the rainy season or something. The changes we have found out and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.